Hi guys, have you been a victim of the Equifax data breach? If so, you might be able to remove everything from your credit report in 14 days. Yes guys, you heard it. In today's video, I'm gonna explain step by step on how you can legally remove everything from your credit report in 14 days. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I create Coach Q and I create the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair experience to your own hands. If you're new to the channel, I'm super, super excited because I have a bang in today's video. I'm going to show you how you can remove everything from your credit report using the Equifax data breach method. But before we get to the video, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience and allows us to leave the lights on. Guys, please like subscribe to the channel. If you have anything derogatory in your credit report, I mean anything negative, charge-offs, late payments, bankruptcies, medical bills, guys, you name it, please go over to MyCreditApproved.com. It's the website and the software that I was telling the, telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands. Guys, people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves. They are no longer using credit repair companies. They are putting this information and this experience into their own hands and appreciating on a deeper level. Guys, please go to MyCreditApproved.com, check out the software, and start removing these items, guys. If you have anything derogatory on your credit report. Now, let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video. Guys, I'm super excited about this video because I was talking to a colleague of mine that owned a very successful credit repair company and she is a dispute wizard. She's always going to school and learning different ways to dispute effectively and she taught me how to use this method and Tina, thank you. I know that, you know, your channel and everything is not big, but I appreciate this method because this is going to help so many people remove everything. I personally used it. I've been using it for probably two months now, and it has been life-changing for my clients. So let's dive straight in. So the first thing you want to do is to remove the snitches. Basically, you want to freeze all of the secondary bureaus. That's LexisNexis, SageStream, and Innovis. Now, those third-party bureaus basically communicate with the main bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. They basically communicate and tell them whether the information that they're reporting is accurate. So you want to freeze everything so you want to go to google.com and you want to go to LexisNexis freeze and you're going to freeze the account you want to click that and then you're going to go submit a request put your information in scroll to the bottom and submit the request right now once you do that it's time for you to start the dispute process right so you're going to go to mycreditapproved.com you're going to sign up for the $39.99 package and that is going to give you everything that you need once you import everything to your credit report then you're going to basically have a screen that looks like this right and it's going to give you all of the negative items that's on your credit report and the items that you want to dispute guys is going to be listed but i want you to find a reason for each individual item so in this case we're going to dispute child support now let's dispute too crazy go to bank of america identity theft and then we're going to go lv envy fund the identity theft right let's this one identity theft because this is technically identity theft case right then you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to create letter and then you're going to go and you see a screen like this right and then you're going to go to round two and then you're going to type in affidavit of facts in that box and then it's going to pop straight up and now we're going to look for the items that has the disputes that we are ready to dispute so we did bank of america and then we did s we did bank of america and then we did identity theft now if you want to dispute all of it put everything that you're going to dispute but in this case i'm just going to do two then we're going to wait for the dispute letter to populate once it populate you're going to get what is called the affidavit of fact now as you can see guys this is a legal document this is a real legal document and this is actually you against Equifax for the data breach right so in this case it says plaintiff name this is a demo account so the name is demo and then it says versus defendant name Equifax right and this is going to be your dispute letter this is going to be everything that you're going to basically need to get the item removed the affidavit of facts is the bread and butter this is the piece to the puzzle of success when it comes to this specific strategy other i don't know where you can get the affidavit of facts outside of the my credit approved system i'm almost sure you can download a template and then put all the of the information in like the system has it so as you can see all of the negative accounts are already being listed basically already 
already telling them what to do. Uh, the demand for the action given to the inaccuracies detailed above and a significant impact on my financial well-being and when credit report accuracy, I demand that Equifax conduct a thorough investigation to the reported inaccuracies for all accounts listed. And then it's just going to come down. Conclusion, I affirm that the information presented in this affidavit is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge and belief. I understand. And then you're going to get it notarized. Attached, you're going to put your a copy of your driver's license, social security card, and um, any other supporting documents. Now, once you have that, now you're ready to go over to the identitytheft.gov and file an actual complaint for the Equifax data breach. You're going to go here, you're going to say get started, and then it's going to say my information was exposed by the data breach, and then you're going to type in Equifax, yes, credit cards accounts, and then you're going to scroll down, right? select what option best fits you click this and now it's going to ask you to plug this information in now i'm not going to do that obviously because they do a verification check to make sure that this is from an actual person i plugged in some dummy information and i erased the main information this is not a real address it's not a real telephone number and obviously this is not a real account number but this is what it's going to look like after us right and you're going to basically click finalize and they're going to give you an option to download this document this document along with the affidavit of facts guys this is all you need I, I know that a lot of people has went through some trouble sometimes with echo facts with this data breach but this is the light at the end of the tunnel this is everything that you need to actually get a fresh start when it comes to your collections charge off so anything negative on your credit report and this applies for anyone that has actually been um, a victim of the Equifax data breach now I have seen people try to use this method without them being a victim of the Equifax data breach and sadly to say it actually worked as well so but I don't teach anything like that I don't teach ways to um, dispute fraudulently but I've seen people do it and it have worked too this is how powerful this method is guys because the affidavit of facts once you notarize it you're basically saying everything is factual and once they have a reason to basically believe that everything is factual they have a liability and a responsibility to basically fix the uh, and right the wrong that happened to your report. So if you were a victim of the data breach and you had, I don't know, things placed on your credit report, TransUnion, Equifax and Experian has a right and a responsibility to make sure that that does not affect you negatively as fast as possible. So their job is to make sure that if you are a victim of identity theft, to fix it immediately. And millions, guys, millions of people were affected with this last data breach with Equifax all the way up to a large settlement that happened so guys you have a good chance of being affected by this now if you want me to teach you how to actually put the jargon in and actually go to the credit reports and actually do it because once you have the uh, affidavit of facts once you have the identity theft report you're going to go over to the credit reports that you are disputing to so if you are disputing with TransUnion go to TransUnion.com if you're experiencing uh, with Experian go to Experian.com and you're not going to mail these documents off you're going to go to the website and actually put it in now once you get to the website you're going to click the item that you're basically disputing and then you're going to basically put they're going to give you an option for some text and inside the text with the account number put everything that has basically affected when it comes to your situation basically write a small story about what's going on with your specific account now like i said if you want me to teach you how to go to the credit report i mean the credit bureau and actually go step by step type it in the comment section and I and, and I would do that the reason I didn't do it on this video because I want people to have as much chance as possible to use this method before um, it go viral and it gets watered down now I still have videos that work I have 14 day hacks that I did probably almost two years ago and they are still working so but they're not working as much as they did so the reason why I didn't give you know a, a reason for people to a detailed description of what to put in those text boxes and things like that is because I want your story to be your story and that gives everyone a fighting chance when it comes to this now if everyone is saying the same thing it's going to get watered down but if everyone is filing Equifax data breach reports they have to honor it because they know that it was millions of people that was affected by it. so guys let me know in the comment section if you want that video I would do it because I'm gonna give the people what they want but if you have any other questions or concerns if you want to have a consultation and get on the phone 
along with me. Go to mycreditapproved.com, sign up for the free consultation, and we'll meet you there, guys. Let me know in the comment section any questions or concerns. Until next time, take care of your credit. Take care of yourself. Credit Coach Q out. Peace.